Hello friends, welcome to Atlanta, Georgia. I'm here in front of Sweetwater Brewing Company. I'm glad you're here. It's a very large facility. I'm sure you can hear the music playing. There's a band playing on their patio. I think it's a fish cover band. I'm not sure, but it sounds pretty good. I don't know how much you're gonna be able to hear of me though in the next few minutes. So I'll tell you now, you've probably seen the beer that is made by Sweetwater. They make a very popular beer called 420. There's a couple other beers you, you've probably heard of that are pretty dank, you might say. Let's go try some of those. beers you've probably seen before Sweetwater 420 is up here I'm definitely gonna try one of those since I'm here at the brewery but they have other beers like a stout a session stout that I've never known that they made so of course I'm gonna try the ones I've never heard of I'll do that session stout well I've learned a lesson already go to the other side of the bar where it's much quieter because I said session stout and he thought I said citrus and I ended up with an orange <laughs> an orange beer it's called orange Very orange. It's like it's like orange juice with a little bit of beer in it. The kitchen looks pretty poppin'. A lot of food coming out of that kitchen. There's a lot of stuff on the menu. They have some munchies up here, irregular bar foods, wings, and some salads and stuff. And then on the back of the menu is their pizza. Hey, thanks, man. Stouts Kwabi, got it this time. Much quieter now, the band took a break. So I got the beer I wanted. Let's see what it tastes like. Oh, it's good. Sessiony, not much, not much stoutiness to it. It's, it's good, it is good. It's like a nice finish, a bit of coffee finish in there, a little bit nutty. I like that beer. It's a 4.2%. Not boozy at all. Good stuff. Check out their swag and gaming section here. They got a foosball table. I love foosball. What's up, Gordon? We have some beer to go right out here in the open alongside their t shirts and oh, golf bags, golf clothes. All right. This is a very large swag shop. All kinds of cool shirts, sweatshirts seen that type of thing before oh, here we go I'm inclined to purchase that myself I like these three quarter length shirts too I always like those water bottles coolers tin sides and some baby clothes and other stuff they have an entire dog swag section throwing disc some leashes collars some blankets down here. And you can get old Fido a neckerchief. It's eight dollars. And of course, you can buy some of their glassware and silicone wear. Cold beers to go in their own walk-in cooler. I've never seen this situation at a brewery. Come right on in. Don't, don't mind if I do. It's kind of hot out here today, so this is a nice, nice change. We have a lot of hats. So many varieties of hats. Uh, you, I don't know if you can really see through the glare, but this is their small system where their single batch items come from. They have experimental beers that they brew in this, and if it makes it in the tap room here, then they make it on the big system way in the back. They give tours a couple times a day. Let's see if we can make it on one of those. Man, I want to try that uh, mango kush. Sand or you want to go for it? I'm going to go for it. 5.4% mango kush. That's what this is. 
Because I had to try one of these danky beers that they have here. <laughs> I feel like I'm eating weed with a little bit of mango. Drinking weed. I think I see Abraham Lincoln in the suds, man. This stuff is really good, man. about how we drink and how it's weird and all that. It's strange, man. It's like all this liquid and stuff and they just swallow it. Weird. So this is cool. They're topping my beer off because I'm, I'm getting a tour. It's awesome. The small system. <laughs> this is cool. So, back in the early 90s, Two fellas from the top of Colorado. Freddie Bench and Kim Pinkin. Two fellas here, they did a job, obviously, in the class of the So we got jobs at the local brewery. We were working there. And so, really, they had to graduate at some point and decided they wanted to do that. So, off to California, and they got a degree in fermentation science. February 17th of 1997, they were able to brewery. And this is not our original our original location is on Ford Industrial Boulevard, which is like the side of the land here in the Stats area. So in 2004, we had opened up this location. Uh, blue and white walls that you guys see around us, this used to be an old launch pad. So everything in here was done back in 2004. Uh, brewing, canning, uh, distribution, everything came out of this room. In 2012, we opened up the DHL warehouse next door. Luckily enough, that was there for us to buy and scale it to. Um, that was a $19 million scale. So this is our pilot system. Everything that we need to go from beginning to end to make a beer. Uh, this is a small batch stuff, so this is a five beer barrel system. And our main brew has to support 100 beer barrel system. So this is relatively small for what we're doing production wise. So what you see on the tap panels, it says Hatch Break Series, and it came out of here. So this is, this is like one off stuff. The brewers will try something, we put it out, people drink it, maybe they want to tweak something, there's no chase, there's a beer, and then we'll back out. Uh, so this is stuff that's always rotating, even more reason to put it off and back out. Um, they enjoy their time over at St. Martin Creek, so they make a brewery and some so obvious to them. Don't let the mainstream is kind of the guy that we provide them. It really smells like. It smells dank in this brew house. Very dank. There's the dank tank. Yeah, the, the dank tank is, is right there. I'm right in front of it. Maybe that's why it smells so dank. But yeah, I'll go through each step of the brewing process. I'll try to bore you guys too much. These are just giant kegs. This is where it's going to get force carbonated. Uh, our head brew hash is going to try it. It's going to sit in here very soon, about four days. Very soon. Uh, yeah, so it's going to be here about four days, and then once it's checked off, it's going to be done. Holy cow. This is totally Laverne and Shirley. I, can't I see it. I don't know how much I get that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, can't you see Laverne and Shirley doing the intro to the TV show right here? This is what it looks like. It's the first thing I thought of when I saw it. I'm going to give you guys a little snapshot of if this was running, what it would look like. So we're going to have cans come up on this conveyor belt up top. Uh, they're going to run down. They're going to get flipped upside down into this little box right here. You can see it by the ladder. My eyes here is going to get shot inside. Any of us can breathe as much as those cans up in the city. Get shot out and clean. And then it's going to come up to our can filler. Um, so this will basically fill it and put the lid on it. And it can do 55 at a time. So when this is running, we can do 500 in a minute. So it has got some serious juice behind it. And then over there is our bottle, like I was talking about earlier. That has 77 heads on it. It can do roughly 600 in a minute. And, that's really well. so, and you would think that a lot of people are working this with one person's here, and then you probably have two guys out in the packaging line. This is a very automated process. So this is a very hands-off. and just kind of making sure everything runs pretty smoothly. So. Yeah, we do around 10,000 cases per day, which is really not doing that same thing. Uh, I ran out of beer. Good thing we're at the beer station. Well, they had to change the keg and they changed it to something that was not available even in the tap room. Some tropical IPA. But it's got a lot of head right now, so I'm just waiting on it to settle. 43 states, 8 countries. 
Ow. Shipping beer everywhere. The size of this keg filler is crazy. It takes three to four minutes for a keg to be cleaned, sanitized, and filled with this keg filler back here. It's amazing. It's so big. I've never seen one like this. I got the answer right. How many glass bottles are in that chandelier up there? Take a guess. I'll tell you at the end of the video. Here's a collection of beers that they own. They brew all these beers for different companies. You see here, Alpine Beer Company. A lot of these have their name on it. But Green Flash is another one. Montauk, their contract brewery that they brew for. And they have their own line of beers here. A lot of these you see on the taps out there in the tasting room. But these you will not see on the taps. You can only buy it here and only in cans. There's so much fruit in them, they don't put them on tap. I'm looking forward to trying one of those. Well, if I lived in Atlanta, Georgia, I would be here often. This is my kind of place, it really is. I'm not a big fish fan, but I'm sure that the music you know, is good all the time. You know, even, the, even though they were a fish cover band, I think it was a fish cover band, they're still really good. I like that style, you know? I, like, I like this hippie environment. Well, the tour is over and it ends right here in the gift shop. This is a 5.5% red ale, or the red liter. Although it's only 16 ounces, it's very good. Wow, very good. Very balanced. Again, a beer that you cannot get anywhere else, only here in the tap room. Excellent beer. I like this very much. For a red, it's, this is an excellent red. Wow. I could drink two of these, but I'm past my limit, my friends. This is my last beer. i got to finally make my way out of here. This, what a great brewery. Great place. Thanks for joining me today, friends, here at Sweetwater Brewing Company here in Atlanta, Georgia. This is a really great place. I had a nice conversation with a couple of the bartenders, chit-chatting about our favorite breweries in Florida and around here. So I've got some good leads on other breweries to check out around the area. Thanks to these guys. This is a really amazing place. Great beer, really good dank beer, I would say. I love the environment, love the people. Definitely make your way here if you're in the Atlanta, Georgia area anywhere. Go off course, come here to Sweetwater. Check it out, have a good couple of beers. Thanks for joining me today, friends. I appreciate it, I'll see you the next brewery. Just to give you an idea, this is the parking lot of Sweetwater. Those are all semi-trucks getting loaded with beer to take to you. So you can buy in the store and enjoy all those great beers. The answer to the trivia question, how many bottles were in that chandelier? Well, 420, of course.